had a feeling that themes like this might do more real good than more hard-hitting protest pictures. I wanted any black girl in the audience to look at me performing it in this film and be able to say to herself, why, this school teacher could be me, Dorothy Dandridge on Bright Road. Today I've designed three pieces inspired by Dorothy Dandridge. The first piece is inspired by Bright Road and I envision it being a brooch made out of both beads and paper, like pieces of paper from a book. I'm thinking about creating these little cones and then putting them together to create a brooch. I think it's gonna be really pretty. This was a piece that I thought about instantly when I saw her enter the classroom in that beautiful 1940s style dress. Anyway, this piece is the one that I am most excited to give a try. Hopefully I will. I don't know, I haven't started yet. Today I will be designing a brooch designed for Dorothy Dandridge, specifically for her role as Miss Richards in Bright Road. I hope you enjoy watching the process. Hi everyone, I'm Jessica Gibson with Kaleidoscopes and Polka Dots, where I sell handmade vintage inspired jewelry for the soul who's in love with the past, wholeheartedly loves in the present, and embraces the future. If you enjoy watching videos relating to vintage fashion, jewelry, and books, then please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you never miss a video. So today we are going over part four of my series dedicated to Dorothy Dandridge. In the first video, I covered her story through beautiful vintage photographs. I hope you loved it. A lot of work went into that one. Well, a lot of work went into all of the videos, but that one especially because I had to really research all of those pictures and I have actually added them as a download on the blog post that I dedicated to Dorothy Dandridge on my blog, on my website, on my blog. It is a blog page, but it's more than just a blog. It's my website where I sell all the stuff that I make. Anyway, if you're interested in finding the resources for that, please check out that blog post. I have linked it in this description box as well as in the other one. In the second video that I dedicated to her, I went over my thoughts and feelings on both Carmen Jones and Bright Road, both of which star Dorothy Dandridge, and I think Harry Belafonte. Yes, Harry Belafonte is also a part of those. Oh, I loved those movies, especially Bright Road. After watching those movies, I decided that I wanted to create pieces that were inspired by Dorothy's characters in each of these movies. Hence, why I'm here today. I really wanted to do a piece for each of the movies. However, I feel like a five-part series might be a little too long. Today, we are doing one of those pieces. Two weeks ago, I published a video where I designed a piece specifically for Dorothy because she's inspirational. I love her. We all love her. I love that piece. But the piece that I was most excited to really create, I think, is today's piece, where I will be working with paper beads. In the past, I've made paper beads from scratch, but I've never made anything of them. Paper beads tend to have a, a tendency of changing color. You add this hardener to them and as a result they end up changing color on you and because of that I feel like you can't really trust anything that you visualize. I think it has to do with all of the acids that are involved in producing the color. I'm no paper expert but that's just my assumption. Anyway, well I have thought about creating collections around paper beads. I never did it because of that. So that is why I was so excited to actually give today's project a try. I hope you love the process.
Okay, so for my paper beads, I am using an old Huckleberry Finn book, which look at how beautiful this cover is. I have thought about framing it because I'm in love with how beautiful this artwork is. And look at how old it is. Oh, that makes me so happy. The last time that I worked with paper beads, it was probably 2016. 2016 was when I went hardcore and bought all of the utensils needed to do any kind of jewelry making, including paper bead making. And this, I still, I still have so many that I didn't do anything with. I was considering using a few of these beads. Oh my gosh, that's Penny, so excuse me. I was considering using a few of these beads already that have been pre-made um, and designing something around them. And something along the lines of what I already drew, but I don't know, it kind of feels like cheating. <laughs> Maybe it's just me being really cautious. Am I too white? I hope I'm not too white. I'm sorry. I'm also trying to get really close to you because the microphone, I've had microphone issues as you probably saw last week. I will stop, I will stop rambling now. Let's get to work.
questions that I often get asked about all of my jewelry is how long did it take you? So for today's project, it took me approximately about five hours. And I would include the visualization part of it in those five hours to the playing around with the materials to actually coming up with the end result. Now, that was just one project. Had I decided to make this part of a collection, it probably would have taken me about an hour because I try to make sure that everything comes out perfectly. I mean, who wants to put out stuff that isn't to standard? Let's talk about Miss Richards and why this is the perfect brooch for her. So Miss Richards was a first year fourth grade teacher. She was so lovely. I loved watching her come to life. And in the first scene when she enters the classroom, she introduces herself and quickly befriends CT, who is a troublesome student. However, he really just thinks outside the box and isn't afraid to voice his opinions. And who doesn't appreciate that in a little person? I know most of us do, but another time, another norm, another expectation from kids and students. Anyway, he was perceived as a troublesome student, but really he was just somebody who was very introspective and questioned things as they were at the times. And he made really good points. From a conversation that she, Miss Richards, shares with CT, it's evident that he comes from a loving family. However, they're just making ends meet. And as a result, he doesn't really have lunch money. And she places him on like the school's meal plan. That is the kind of teacher that Miss Richards is. She's very intuitive and she isn't afraid of doing something about the, the things that she wants to do if she can. It takes him a while, but he comes around. CT is played by Philip Hepburn, who really did an outstanding job in the film. With CT's story in mind, I really did want to create anything that was too flashy. I didn't want to create something that would really stand out as out of place in that classroom. That is why I thought paper beads would be such a great idea. So, of course, my starting point was the sketch. But once I got my hands on the paper that I'd be working with because I didn't want to undo another book, the book that I'm using I've been using since like 2016. It's really old. I mean, it was old then, it's even older now. And as a result, it's very fragile. And I just didn't think that it would withstand the pressure of keeping the wire and the flower beads, which are glass beads, together. I mean, it breaks so easily as paper tends to do as it disintegrates. And as a result, I was like, well, I have to figure something else out, but because I really want to use paper. I mean, the glass beads are beautiful and I think Miss Richards will look lovely with a, a brooch that is made up of glass beads, but I really wanted to work with paper. I meshed the two scribbles that, that I originally produced into one design and given all of the material that I have, I produced this brooch. I love this brooch. I loved how it turned out and I think it's very representative of Miss Richards. It's delicate, it's beautiful and elegant, and I think it would really complement some of those bunged up shirts either as a center accent or as a side accent on one of her dresses. What do you think? Do you love it? Did I do well? All right, so before I go, I just want to give a quick shout out to Mary Elizabeth Roman, who was the inspiration behind the creation of Bright Road. Her short story, See How They Run, was adapted into this movie. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend you do. I will be linking a link to Fandango, which is where I watched it. This is not a sponsored link. I just want to make it readily available for you to watch if you're interested. It might differ if you're in any other country and you want to watch it, but if you're in the United States and you want to watch it, Fandango is your go-to, and I love it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and my Dorothy Dandridge or Miss Richards inspired brooch. If you are interested in never missing out on any of my videos, please sign up to my newsletter. There is a link to it in the description box. This is where I share weekly updates about what's going on here on the YouTube channel, as well as what's going on in my newsletter. 
for my newsletter and my website. When you subscribe, you will also receive a 20% off discount code, which you can use immediately on anything and everything. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button and that notification bell so that you will hopefully get notified when I post a new video. I will talk to you again very soon. Bye guys. One of my biggest goals in life is to one day be asked to, to produce all of the jewelry for one of the movies that I love or that, or any movie really. It's a pretty lofty goal, but maybe, maybe, just maybe it might happen. I feel like there's too much going on in the background right now. I'm sorry. This will change. Next video.